Ken Sirs here and another shave video. Just got back from work and uh, I have been saying I was going to go out for dinner a couple of nights in a row and uh, didn't do it Friday night, didn't do it Saturday night, didn't do it last night. Got all ready to but we ended up just hanging out and watching movies. But tonight I've got to go uh, to a big family dinner. Uh, so I'm going to change out of this do my shave and get right back into it. Because I went to the uh, Surf City luncheon, uh, Wet Shavers luncheon over the weekend, and it was good. I'll show you some clips a little later in the video. And they're doing, uh, Doug Smythe in Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements was doing a pass around of uh, a razor and it's a double open comb stainless steel evolution. And this is a monster. I picked it up from Oscar. He had just done a shave and a shave video uh, with it. In fact, I'll put a link to his review in uh, my comments or my uh, description section so you can check out his. And this razor comes from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Look at those teeth. Man, last time I saw teeth like that, That's where I saw teeth like that from before. But uh, I'm really looking forward to this. It's a really nice razor. It does have some choppers on there. So I'm going to be using a uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette today. And I'm going to use some of uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, products with this. And let me grab that. Yeah, since it's coming up to the uh, Big Shave West 3, I'm going to use these. So uh, I know how good these are. And I'm going to be using some, uh, some pre-shave also because uh, I'm probably going to cut myself. So let me get this all set up. Somebody had asked why I don't use the Mula Silver Tip Fiber uh, anymore, and I do. I just don't film all of them. So I've got that soaking right now in the, uh, the Crystal Skull. All right. Uh, People have been asking, where'd you get that? And it was a leftover from Halloween at a home goods store, which is like a Ross or a Marshall's, but uh, it's like five bucks. But uh, man, it really makes a really good brush soaker. All right, let me get this off and get ready. I'll be right back. All right, got the uh, hot water going. Oh. It was a good Monday today. Got to leave work a little early. Had a doctor's appointment, ear, nose, and throat. I think I told you when I went back to Louisiana, I'm in my uncle's driveway. We're shooting a 30 pistol, no hearing protection. Duh. I've been shooting for years and I always wear hearing protection. Last two shots, took it out. My ear has been plugged up ever since. Now he says that it should go back to normal, but call in three weeks. Take two aspirin, call me in the morning. All right. Was a good, uh, was a good shave meetup, a uh, good luncheon. It's about 10 to 15 people there. Great bunch of people. Met most, most everybody before at uh, some of the other events, but it was just mellow. Uh, you know, it was supposed to have rained that day and it didn't. It was supposed to, so I think that kept a lot of the, we had the whole patio section of the uh, restaurant to ourselves for quite a long time. So it was real good. In fact, uh, here's some scenes from it. Ken Surf's here, and we're heading to the Surf City Wet Shavers Meetup right now. Got a break in the weather. We've had some good rainstorms, and uh, it's gonna start again on Monday, but we got a little bit of a break. So uh, let me shoot some scenery on the way over there, and uh, maybe I'll document uh, some of the activities. All right, hope you enjoy.
That was a lot of fun. All right, she's lathering like a monster, so. You know, that razor might just look intimidating. Some of those open combs often do, but a double open comb. But out here it gets a super close shave. And we're supposed to keep it for a couple of days, try it, give a review, send it on to the next guy. And uh, I've been slacking, that's why I need to get this done. But uh, I've got about an hour and a half till my wife comes home, so I have some time to do some editing and maybe get this video going. <laughs> yeah, that's not a mild razor. I've got about two days growth on that. But so far so good. My cheeks are never the problem. Whoops, I felt something there. Let's see if I got myself. No. Some people like those aggressive razors. It must cut through a beard like crazy. But it grips super good. Super good. See, they're out of stock and they retail for about, I think, 170. But if you like aggression and a clean shave on the first pass, this one may be for you. Now I can honestly say after two passes that up, down, that is really close. Got me. Very minor though. I can live with that. It's here that I don't like getting cut. It takes forever to heal on the neck. All right. Exceptionally smooth. But man, just the teeth on that. Look at that, got me twice. Right here, right there. But not, not terribly bad. I haven't watched everybody's review on this. 
got to be some of you have made it through without getting a nick. All right. See, little here. That one's almost gone. Big shave west. Can't wait for that. That's coming up a couple of months. Oh, man, that's a good burn now, brother. Woo! But very, very close. I'm, gosh, you can see that blade. <laughs> you can see it sticking out there. You get some, some good blade coverage there. Box it up very tight, though. All right. A little bit of a weeper. I can live with that, as long as it's not down here. It gets on your shirt, gets everywhere. We'll use the, uh, the stick. We'll stop that. All right, well, that's it. Good, good shaver, very aggressive, but it cuts very close. So, no complaints. I've cut myself before on many a razor, and I think next time that blade would be a little duller. So, uh, it'll be a little, little more forgiving so anyhow you guys have a great night and uh i'm looking forward to doing another video real soon i want to try out some of that uh shave tonic small batch shave tonic pretty soon i haven't done it yet so i'm looking forward to doing that too all right have a great night we'll see you next time